What is up, people? It is me, Steve Roxas, and for them, I'm going to be returning the old series Let's Play Nelly Champion temporarily because uh, a new champion was released, and it's Bart, of course. Look at him, he looks like freaking Santa Claus or something. I don't know. <laughs> I thought Bart's design was really weird, and his name is also really weird. Um, anyways, Bart is actually really unique for a champion, and a part of his design actually is a bit worrying for me because I have a feeling League of Legends will kind of start going towards this direction. And it's, you know, um, I'm just going to quickly talk about it because I will definitely talk about all of his spells. His ultimate really reminds me of uh, Kalista ultimate and is you know, the ability to uh, be able to uh, control a, a friendly player, an ally player with one of your spells. Like, this is something that really wasn't common in League. You would see it in, like, Kalista's ult, but, uh... Like, Kalisa's ult, it's just one spell, right? And it's only about... You can only do it to one person. With Bard's ultimate, you can apply it to your entire team. Now, I'm not saying, you know, oh, God, they, they shouldn't have Bard's ult because it's so, like... It has so much potential to troll your own teammates. But it's just, you know, it, there's so much chance that you will mess it up. If you don't know what Bard's ultimate is, it's basically... Uh, you throw down an AoE, and uh, anything hit by the AoE will get put into a like a Sonya stasis effect. And uh, yeah, it's just I don't know. I I don't really appreciate that uh, because uh, I I just don't like it when other people make decisions for me. Uh, it's something that I've always been a big fan of, you know, to be able to always control my character. But the fact that someone else on my team can control my character, you know, not, like not an enemy player, it's like like with crowd control that really like you know it really puts me into a state where I think like oh I don't know if this is like correct uh, okay let's see what is this okay I'm gonna have to go for W I guess let me put down this healing thing <laughs> alright she can pick it up okay so anyways I haven't really explained much of what Bard can actually do uh, if you have seen his spotlight I'm sure you already know pretty well but um he is pretty interesting. His Q spell is basically a, a long skill shot. Or well, it's not very long, but uh, if you hit a target, it, it if it hits, a, it can go through. And if it hits a second target, uh, both targets will get stunned. Or uh, if the Q goes through and uh, it hits a wall instead, then the first target will be stunned as well. As long as the Q's second hit stops at something, it will become a stun. Uh, other than that, though, it becomes just a slow, I believe. Yes, the first target is slowed for 60 seconds for one second. Uh, sorry, by the way, if, <laughs> if everything that I'm saying sounds like a mess. This is literally me playing Bard for the first time because I'm trying to save some time here. But, uh, yeah, I felt like I had a decent idea how it was going to work. Hang on, let me place down a W so that uh, Ash can start healing up. Oh, I think she needs to, like, wait with picking up the W. Oh, okay, our mid laner was missing this game. It was a Nami. But alright, uh, I don't know if going for this uh, ancient coin was the best choice as Bard because it was recommended, and I was like, oh, you know what? It probably is the best choice. Hang on, let me like start wandering around here. Oh yeah, if you pick these things up that Bard spawns, he actually gets a little bit of bonus XP and mana. It's pretty neat actually, and he also moves fast if you keep uh, picking them up. It's almost like you get free mobility boots if you use Roam a little. And that means that it should be he should be one of the better supports for roaming actually because getting free mobility boosts like that is pretty powerful. Uh, Alright, should I put a point in E? I guess so. Anyway, the ability to put down like a, a W that is like a heal, you know, like an ARM heal, that's pretty. I guess that, that is pretty strong, right? Because, uh,. I don't know, normally, like, shamis don't have the ability to give anybody a heal, like, they can just choose, right? Does, can he actually pick it up his own heal? I'm pretty sure he can. Oh, wow, hang on, he put all, he put down a wall? We can go through it, I think. Hang on. Woo, oh my god, what? What the hell just happened? Vayne just knocked me into the wall while I was inside the enemy bar's tunnel. Yeah, you can use the enemy tunnels from, uh, that, uh, that bard makes. It's not like a Rexay tunnel where, like, if if Bard makes a tunnel, like, only he can use it or, like, his allies. No, everybody can use it. I'm not sure about minions, but I don't know if there would ever be a reason for a minion to go through a Bard tunnel. But, like, I'm thinking, like, pets and stuff, like Tibbers and maybe Yorick clones and Mordecai's clones. I'm not sure how those would interact with the tunnel. No idea. I guess we'll see as the game goes on. Uh, well, as, uh, as people start playing with Bard a lot more. 
I'm not sure how strong Bard's current level is, like what people think, uh, how good he will be. He definitely will have some potential, and he probably has some, um, what's it called, skill ceiling? Because, you know, the Q, it requires you to hit two targets for it to become a stun. I mean, uh, to have a slow from the Q is still very good. But, um, yeah, like, he really only has two spells for laning, and that's his Q and W. Sustain and Poke. I guess that's all you really need as a support, right? And, uh, of course, his ultimate can could also be potentially used for laning. To avoid, like, sudden damage. Like, you know the enemy team is about to use, like, all of their spells. And then you use, use your ultimate on you and your AD carry. And you avoid everything. Or, like, you're about to get do dove on. You use ult yourselves, right? Yeah. I, I guess I can, I can begin to see why Bard would be strong. Okay. Uh, so, anyways. This game has been really passive, though. I've just been trying to, uh... Figure out how this guy works, really. But so far, uh, let me just auto attack. I haven't really been auto attacking much, which I think is something that you're supposed to do as Bard. Oh, nice. I actually got some harass off. Uh, his auto attack is also special, I forgot to say. He's got a very interesting passive that is probably too long to explain. But uh, basically, Bard is followed by these little spirits. It's kind of it's kind of creepy, actually, because they're like small ghosts. And uh, apparently, uh, every time you auto attack with a spirit up, you deal extra magic damage on your next auto attack, and you slow. Look at that. And uh, you can actually collect more spirits, and uh, a new one appears every 12 seconds. So you kind of have to make sure that you're using those spirits every time you uh, have one ready. So like right now, I have one built up, so I probably should be walking up to Vayne. Oh wait, where is she? Hang on, hang on. Oh wait, I'm here. Oh man, not even an assist. I just made a... Oh, I can't go through the tunnel from where I, I exited from? Oh, that sucks. Whatever. Okay, I got an ultimate. I thought I could have assisted uh, the off right there, but there was no such thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. And picking up those little jello things that spawn around the map, that's Bard's second part of the passive, by the way. Uh, you actually get XP. So, like, you... It's not like you lose XP from, from roaming too much as Bard you actually do gain as long as you pick up those little golden things which make you move faster so you're spending less time roaming and uh, you are gaining XP as you are roaming so yeah I think Bard might be one of those champions that is actually going to be uh, very roam heavy or you know like you really want to get out there and put out your wards quickly and just yeah do whatever you do as a support okay let's get a size stone let's get let's get boosts while we're at it and let's of course replace this okay I haven't really been putting down too much of my uh, my trinket ward but I think it's been fine so far oh look at this enemy bard has roamed he ults oh that is actually a pretty good setup I see hmm that is an interesting use of his ultimate okay let's put a ward here let's walk up here <laughs> now he's like so annoyed and asking if that was really necessary Oh, they're doing dragon? Okay. Hang on, hang on. Boom. I queued him so that he went through. Oh, God, hang on. This is really bad. Hang on. Ultimate. Oh, I made him slow. Wait, please. Oh, the tunnel? They, enemy, enemy players move slower through tunnels. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can still use them as an escape, even though they can still use the tunnels as well. But your own tunnels or friendly tunnels will always allow you to move faster than enemies going through your tunnels. So, uh, yeah, that's something good to take into account. Damn, I'm feeling so distracted playing this champion. I feel like there's so much I should be, like, taking into account here. But, you know, by doing that little troll, I actually did manage to stop Dragon. So, uh, yeah, Dragon is still up. Nice. You know, you st I just went up to them, used my ultimate, just pretty much... I was annoying. I, I made them think they could kill me and they didn't. Well, Gangplank is getting really annoyed. Okay. Anyways, I should probably return to laning. Let's pick up these things. Wait, what are... I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna walk around the map a little bit. See what, I, what happens when I pick these things up. Oh, wait. There's one over here? Got it. Oh, now I have one more meep than I do than I did before. Nice, nice. 
Oh my god, this is so funny. It feels like I'm playing a different game. <laughs> no, where's the other meep? Oh, I lost my movement speed buff. Hey, look at that. She actually got a kill on her own. Nice, double kill. Holy shit, how far ahead was Ash? Aw, oh, man. What? What in the hell? Alright, he got exhausted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working out. Holy shit. Alright, let's pick these things up. <laughs> Ash is like, this is how bot works. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't understand that. How did Ash get a double kill without me? That is just sick. <laughs> oh, I see. Now that I have more meeps, my my next auto attack is even stronger than before. It was like 30 magic damage, now it's like 80 magic damage. So Bard is actually pretty magic damage heavy. If you consider his auto attack and his Q. Huh. Maybe he would be good with... Uh, I don't know. Mm, maybe I shouldn't be thinking too much out loud here, actually. <laughs> Alright, I'll save my thoughts until later to see if I can actually, you know, make some more opinions because this guy is pretty unique. Not gonna lie. That tunnel effect with E, uh, the ability to make that little W, uh, the, the little, like, ARM heal. Mm. And his Q, just the way it stuns, how it goes through a target and then, like, just... Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe he is a pretty fun support, but uh, I guess you have to have uh, an AD carry that is willing to be left back in the lane. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, oh, they're doing it. Damn. Okay, hang on. I should be able to use my ultimate on them. Boom. Oh, wait. Is there jungler here? Yes, he is. Oh my God. Holy shit. Really? Did you see that? Did you see what I did? I ulted them and Nautilus could not take the dragon anymore. Because I used my ultimate just in a way so that... Wait, wait, please. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let me use this tunnel. <laughs> so, basically what I did there was I ulted uh, this part of the dragon site so that all of the players got uh, Sonya. But that also meant, you know, they cannot take the dragon, and Moffa could just easily uh, go over the wall with his flash, and he actually got the dragon. Like, without any, like, you know, anybody fighting back. That's pretty, that was pretty good. I'm very, very surprised at how well that ended up. I thought, you know, oh, this is gonna look so troll, but I bought just enough time for Moffa to take it. Damn, I never thought of, like, using the ultimate like that, or, like, ever thought of, you know, the ultimate being a way to uh, steal objectives. That is really, really powerful. Th like, Bard could change so much about Baron fights. Wow. You know, like a team is about to steal Baron, and then, you know, Bard hits his ultimate on the jungler, on the enemy jungler who's, like, trying to uh, concentrate on the smite. Yeah, that that is pretty huge. Holy shit. Wow. I, I am... I am amazed at the power, at the potential of Bard. You know, that's pretty insane. Well, I feel like I've been saying insane a lot, but you know, I, I actually am legitimately impressed at the champion. Okay. Oh, my auto attacks are now becoming AOE, like a cone AOE. That's pretty interesting. So, not only with each of these little dudes that you get, does your damage go up, but it also changes the, the style of auto attack that you get. Huh. Oh shit, I didn't get that. Eh, she got it. Okay, hang on. Let me walk up to this uh, vein. So what happens when you, sp when you level up the E? The cooldown goes down, and the movement speed for allies becomes bigger. Okay. Oh, the stun. I'm gonna let Vayne have it. Come on, there we go. Alright, so you see, I just queued her while she was against the wall and she got stunned. Easy as hell. Alright, let's see. But what happens if I put points in W? The cost goes up by 5, that's barely anything. The heal, those go up, go up by quite a bit. Alright, so W is probably the most definite uh, level up. It could be the W is the first thing you should be leveling up. But I had a feeling it would be the Q because that's your main source of harass. Uh, uh oh, okay. Oh god! What is this? Oh, I hit the Q on the on the turret too. No, Ash. Wait, 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 Ash. 
Wait, don't go anywhere. Bard, stay there. Okay, Ash took the kill. Nice! Holy shit, I'm actually really enjoying this champion. I am beating the skinned bard. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, speaking of skinned bard, uh, I know this game is being played in uh, obviously not a draft pick because the, it's not, um, it's two bards in one game. But as you all know, uh, bard just came out yesterday, so. Ah. Um, uh, I can't really, it's really hard to pick a, sh a new champion in draft modes because, uh, because you know, people will always want to play it as first pick or it's, it's banned, you know, because people troll, so in order to guarantee that I actually get to play Bard, it's best that I play something like uh, a team builder. And I know some of you guys may not think, oh, team builder is a very legit game, but you know, I still get to display the champion, so that's pretty cool. But okay, let's see what happens to the last level of the queue. Uh, the damage goes up by almost 30. The duration is increased to almost 2 seconds. It never goes fully to 2 seconds. The cooldown is decreased by almost another whole second. Okay. But I realized that, you know, I do have CDR on me, so there's, that's why the cooldown is a little bit weird. But okay, the queue is actually... Yeah, it actually has a really short cooldown, now that I think about it. Hmm. Huh. Oh, hey, look at this. Vayne is here. Boom! Oh, 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 wait. Let me steal it. No, I thought I could steal it. Bard. Auto attack. Bard. Bard. Wait. Oh, God. Okay, this is bad. Hang on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. The tunnel. Oh. Oh, my God. Maybe I should have dropped my ultimate, but it's whatever. I trolled him. That's what matters. Okay. Here we go. My teammates are gonna pick this up. And hey, nice. Alright. So, I'm not gonna lie. I got a little bit distracted here. I saw Vayne was like playing around with Gromp. I was like, I can kill Vayne. I made her heal herself. So that's pretty good actually. But then, you know, the entire enemy team. The entire enemy team besides Yasuo. Like, just, well like, oh look. Bard is harassing our Vayne. We gotta stop her. Uh, stop him. Sorry. And, uh. Yeah. My team was ready to make up for that. And I die, but three people die as well. Worth. <laughs> uh, let's see, what, what's a good item to build on Bard? Twin Shadows, Rod of Ages, Lich Bane? So you should be going AP on Bard? I don't think he has that many abilities that scale. Uh, I think Tanky would probably be the best, so let's try and go for Frozen Heart. Let me get a pink heart while I'm at it. Alright. Okay, let's leave. Let's see, what is the enemy Bard building? He's building Frostfang, and then he's going Ruby Crystal. Oh, maybe he's going for, like, Haunting Guys, so you can, like, yeah, the Q would make sense with Rylice, you know? I guess. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Anyways, I think I need to be roaming a little bit more. I need to be catching these little things. It's actually pretty fun to run around and just catch these uh, jello blips. I don't know what they're called. Meeps, moops, shimes, whatever. Yeah, shimes probably is what it is. Um, oh, look at this. Enemy bard. Shalnir has appeared. Um, okay. I should probably be heading towards the drag... Wait, did we just lose dragon? No, we didn't. The enemy bar doesn't have one. Alright, uh, let's put ward here. Let's walk up here. Let's put down my pink ward right here. Alright, let's just get rid of this. Nice. Uh, let's put a normal ward here so we know what they're, what they're trying to do. TP up ward Drake. The Drake is warded. It has a damn pink ward in it. Alright, let's just go ahead and kill this Nautilus. Okay, you're fine. No, Vayne! You old... You flashed outside of my ult! Holy shit! That was not good. That was not good at all. I'm gonna take this tunnel because I'm dying. Alright, hang on. I gotta help this gangplank. Oh no! I was gonna cue the bard into the wall and stun him. It's weird actually because the Q sort of works like a condemn, you know? Now that I think about it. So if you're good at landing condemn on Vayne, you're probably gonna be a good bard player. Except that the Q spell, the the Q on Vard, which is called Cosmic Binding, is actually a skill shot. Oh, they surrendered. Okay, that was a pretty quick game, but I feel like I got to show a lot of what Bard is capable of, and this was actually my first game, so I'm very sorry if I forgot to use a lot of mechanics that Bard has, and but I still feel like I got to do much. I just forgot to use this uh, W a lot. But that's, I think it was fine because I don't think Ash was ever in trouble to like, you know, get healed. Maybe I was in trouble to, uh, 
and needed to get healed at some point, but I just, you know, I forgot to use W. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty quick game, so I'm sure it's something that everybody will have enough time to use to watch through. Uh, my Bard, my opinion of Bard is pretty high, actually. I'm looking forward to see what people can do with him. Uh, if this is what I can do with just, you know, no games experience, I can't imagine what I could do when I really understand this champion. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Steve Rocksters, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next game. Yeah, because this is the Let's Play Lee Champion. It's not the Rank Climb. Um, tomorrow, uh, the Rank Climb will continue as usual. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys around.